Hey guys, this is Hexer. What's up? In this video, I'm going to show you how to script in Linux. So, um, this is really good if you want to automate your tasks when you're using terminal. And uh, as I'm for I'm going for network administrating, this will definitely be very helpful if I ever come across a Linux server. So, um, let's go ahead and start. So, go ahead and open a, a new terminal. Okay, and I'm going to zoom in here for you. Okay, first we need to make a new directory. And I've already made so if you haven't yet, go ahead and do a mkdir space shell scripts. Press enter and see it says already exists. So um, if you haven't made one, go ahead and make that. And uh, I'm going to change directory to shell scripts. Okay, I'm going to clear screen. All right, now we're going to make our first example. So go ahead and do a vim space test one dot sh. Okay. Don't forget the .sh for, uh, uh, f format so, because we need that uh, extension for when we create our shell scripts. Uh, go ahead and press enter. Okay, you'll see the, the, the vim interface here. And as you can see, we are in the new file test1.sh. Uh, so go in order to start scripting, we need to press the insert key on our keyboard. Then we go ahead and type pound exclamation mark slash bin slash sh press enter uh, go ahead and type clear press enter and then type in echo space quote hello comma space s dollar sign user all in caps period end quote press enter then I press escape key once so it exits the uh, insert mode and then we're going to save it by pressing colon WQ right and then it saves the file and then it quits press enter that's what we want okay now in order to execute or the, the uh, script we need to give it permissions so go ahead and type sh mod space plus x space and then the name of the file which is test1.sh press enter okay we just gave it ex executable permission now we just in order to, to run it we just do a dot slash the name of the file test1.sh press enter and as you can see it says hello and then my name uh, my user that's logged in Okay, we're going to do another one. So do a clear and do vim test2.sh. Press enter. And in this script, we're going to create a, a uh, Ubuntu automatic updater that will automatically update, that will automate our tests that we usually type sudo, apt get, or uh, aptitude update so let's go ahead and get started do a insert type pound exclamation mark slash bin slash sh press enter do a do a clear and then enter uh, sudo aptitude update press enter sudo aptitude this dash upgrade press enter okay we are done so we press escape key once colon wq it will write save quit press enter now we have to do chmod plus x test 2.sh so we can execute it press enter dot slash test 2.sh to run it Ask for my password and it goes through just like normal 
it will ask me if I want to continue. Hold on a sec. Okay, well, you guys get the idea. Let's go ahead and I'm going to do a control C. Okay. Uh, well, it ran. It worked fine. So, um, I, it just taken a while. So, I'm doing a, do a clear. Okay, guys. We made, on our first example, we created a script that cleared the screen and then it said hello and then the user that is logged on the computer. And then... In our second example, we created a script that will automate updates for Ubuntu. Pretty cool, huh? Well, I hope you guys learned something from this tutorial, and I'm probably going to be making a part two. So uh, stay tuned, and uh, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. I uh, appreciate it, guys. Thanks. And uh, oh, and let me know what you guys think of my new NVIDIA card I'm using in this tutorial. So, uh, yeah, I'm no longer using ATI anymore. But anyways, I'll let you guys go. Uh, thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Bye.